Well, my people, I got problems. Oh, Jesus. Well, I'm sitting waiting on a call back from overnight because just diving on into it, I go to pick up my load at um the pickup place and um you have to give them the pickup number right so I give the um guy I actually write the pickup number down I write the pickup number down and I give him the paper and he Flips through paper like this. He flips through the paper and stuff. So he pulls the sheet out. <clears throat> so he write down on the gate pass. I'll, let me say this. On the pickup number. Basically what I'm getting at. I got the wrong low. I got the wrong low. I can kind of see how he messed up. Because the only numbers that's different is the last two numbers. Every, all the other numbers are the same. The number I gave him ended in 91. The paperwork I have ends in um, 16. Ends in 16. Everything else is the same. So, I give him that. He write down on the gate pass the, where to drop my empty and where to pick up my, um, my loaded trailer. He write that down on the gate pass. He write that down on the, I was checking something out. He writes that down on the gate pass, so I go and drop my empty. Then I head over and pick up my loaded trailer. Now they did give me the um, bills to the load. So what I did was I compared the number on um, the trailer number on the gate pass to the trailer number that's on the bills to the trailer number that I'm actually picking up. Then I got out, did my walk around, checked the trailer out, slid the tandems, and then I checked the seal. And I made sure the seal number on the trailer matched the seal number on the paperwork. So then I checked the weight. I checked the weight of the load. And so I'm like, okay, then I checked the weight to get an idea of where I need to um, set my tandem, especially if I'm in a place that do not have a scale. So... I drive all the way from Georgia to Louisiana. I get out. I write my um, number down that they need. I know they're gonna need once I get to the window. And I get to the window. And this is the this is Schneider calling me back. Hold on one second, y'all. So they have me on hold right now. Um, he said he's gonna take a look at everything and see what's what. And I'm like, oh my goodness. I feel bad because the load's supposed to go to Florida. Then at the same time, I already know, more than likely, it probably will be blamed on me. I already know because on top of all the other things that we have to do, checking behind everybody is another thing. And normally, this is the first time this not happened with them. This is not something that happens all the time. You know, you write your pickup number down. They take the number and they give you the correct paperwork. And <clears throat> um, the guy that was helping me, he seemed new. I don't know if he actually was new, but he seemed new. But, you know, he looking over the paperwork fairly well. <clears throat> and I guess it's up in the air. One would say you should have checked the address. One would say it's kind of on them. They gave you the wrong paperwork. But y'all also begs the question, who else I got the wrong paperwork? Dealing with that. So, I don't know, y'all. This is the first time this has ever happened to me. No matter where I pick up at, you know, it's usually on point. Uh, well, the only other thing that happened to me that is 100% my fault is when I hooked up to a, a loaded trailer that I thought was empty because I didn't open the doors and check the inside of the trailer. And I drove all the way up to North Mississippi and I had to turn around and drive all the way back to 
<laughs> all the way back to mid Mississippi to drop that trailer back off and then drive back up there to get my load. And that was the only thing that's uh, happened. This is the first time this has ever happened. And I think it's kind of surprising everybody because I had another Wisconsin call come in. And so I was telling the guy that I'm speaking to now, like, you want to talk to that person? Because y'all calling me again. So, I don't know, y'all. I don't know. But, I guess I'll come back and give y'all an update once I finish talking to them. He got me a hold, like I said. Once I finish talking to them, give, give y'all an update on what happened. I don't know. Never experienced this before. I'm usually so good at doing stuff, just checking stuff out. Ugh. Oh, and there's so much going through my brain. Freaking wrong address. I'll come back and give y'all an update. All right.